this. Make sure that the scarf is covering the top part. <laughs> hey guys, um, so I know I promised a dance video this week, but um, considering that this past weekend was kind of like the Halloween weekend, or rather like um, Thursday was Halloween, I thought I'd do like a kind of hollow vlog of sorts or something like that. Um, but it's just basically going to be explaining what happened on Halloween and yeah, why stuff like this is why I'm dressed like this for a say. Halloween was this past Thursday. And um, I actually didn't do much actually on Halloween. It's usually, for me, it's usually like either the day or like the weekend of Halloween that I'm actually doing stuff. It's actually not so much that I um, really get to do anything. Like, I mean, I don't go trick or treating anymore. I mean, I did that all the way up until the end of high school. But, um, yeah. So, um, actually, this year was actually very, very similar to last year in terms of what I did. Um, traditionally, well, now, well, well, actually, I should say from now on, traditionally, um, where I go to school, we actually have like a humans versus zombie, ga a humans versus zombies game that we run. Um, if like I think I explained that a little bit more in my um, last in last year's vlog, which wasn't that great, which is why I'm deciding to do it in this kind of format, you know, just kind of one on one. So, yeah. Um, but basically, humans versus zombies is. Um, a two-team kind of manhunt game where you have one team of zombies which are basically trying to infect the humans and the humans all have um, nerf equipment so well actually um, for our game we only allow nerf guns um, just because if you know you get if you get shot with a nerf bullet it's not gonna hurt so much if you get shot with a nerf bullet it's not gonna hurt so much such as like if you try to um, do anything Oh, maybe I should try to look at it. So much if you try to try to hit somebody in the face with a sword or like socks, which we had one year and didn't go over so well, so we decided to just opt out for just just so we just decided to opt for um, nerf guns. So um, yeah, I mean that's basically what happened. Um, yeah, I mean it was a lot of fun, but it runs overnight basically. So I am basically in the building from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. And so it was really, really tiring, that's actually part of the reason why this video is actually really, really late, because, like, I was, yeah, I basically spent the entirety of Saturday, like, actually sleeping, um, doing a little bit of homework, but sleeping mostly. Um, so, yeah, um, obviously, I went as Mika Sun this year, and, um, I actually did want to talk about the jacket for a little bit, because I actually did not make this. Um, this would be the only ever cosplay piece that I actually don't make. Like, mo for the most part, I'm actually not going to make most of my Halloween stuff just because it's for Halloween. I don't really feel like doing that. Um, or it'll be like cosplays that are worn. So the jacket I actually bought off of eBay. Um, it's a really, really good quality jacket, but um, to most people I advise to buying it. I would keep in mind that a lot of the stuff um, that the store sells runs small and with that I'm actually going to put the eBay seller and the information for the jacket um, in the in the description box so you guys can um, check that out if you guys want and Mission Geeky the Trojan jacket. Um, this one just happens to be the Scouting Legion. Um, I don't I don't think that um, they sell any of the other uh, the uh, the other cores um, but yeah if you do want a Scouting Legion jacket um, this one's really really good quality. Um, all the buttons are actual, like, real buttons, like, I can actually, like, pop this off if I wanted to. Um, whoop. Try to pop them back on. Um, but these are actually legitimate pockets, um, so yeah, I could actually, like, you know, use those as pockets if I wanted to. Really good quality. The only thing about it is that the back itself is printed. I wish it were actually embroidered, but I understand that that would have been a lot more money if I had actually had to get it embroidered. So if you don't mind the back being printed, I would definitely say um, get the jacket if you want it. Um, and so yeah, I mean, other than that, like everything else was like absolutely perfect about it. I really couldn't have wished for anything more. Um, so yes, whether I will actually be wearing these out at cons is still up in the air. I haven't really figured um, out what I'm doing. Um, so far, I can tell you guys for right now, just for like, you know, heads up, um, my Katsukon plans have, may have changed slightly, but probably not, considering that I still have to do, I still do have to get things for, um, for Katsukon, so I will keep you guys posted on that. Um, other than that, the dates, that's basically it. I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I will be back with a, 
um, dance cover video, um, the next video, like the next video will actually, um, I will be back with the dance cover video for the next video. Um, I just wanted to get this out of the way because it was, because, you know, last weekend was Halloween and I didn't really have like a Halloween theme to dance for you guys to, you know, for you guys' viewing pleasure. So, um, yeah, I will be back with that, um, you know, later in November and I will see you guys all soon. Catch up with you guys later.